guys, my name is Crystal. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button. Good afternoon. It's Monday afternoon. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 1.12 p.m. Right, guys, I'm just in the middle of eating my sandwich, which has come from Sainsbury's. A steak and caramelised onion sandwich. So it's got uh, steak in it. Very tasty as well. All part of a £5 meal deal out of Sainsbury's. £5 meal deal. So we are now going to show you what I got after I came out of the dentist. I didn't go straight home. I needed to top up my mobile to change my sca pelvic scan appointment because there was no way I was going to make it to who tomorrow for a pelvic scan, a woman's pelvic scan, a female scan. I don't drive, I don't have a car, so you know I wanted somewhere a bit closer, either I could walk to or get the bus to the hospital, so I've changed my appointment. My pelvic scan has now been changed. I've rung the number up. A nice young Asian lady answered the phone and she was very polite and changed it for me. So I went into Primark. After the dentist, I had a look in the Demelza charity shop. And a long time ago, at Lansdowne Court, I spoke to someone on Google Hangouts and we exchanged pictures and um, in one of those pictures was a picture of a hedgehog. It was a little frame like the one I've got up above my chair up there but it had a hedgehog, a print of a hedgehog and um, I stopped talking to this person because they wanted photographs again I stopped talking to them I also reported one of these guys to the police because they were trying to extort money from me and trying to emotionally blackmail me for money so I'm well aware that they've got photographs of me and they can keep them so the Demelza charity shop had had an item from where I lived at Lansdowne Court it was the exact same print and they were selling it for three pounds well you have to be blatantly honest guys when someone dies what, what do they do if someone dies what do what what do people do with your belongings um, they either either family comes and takes them or your family throws them in the bin or they take them to a charity shop um, there was a guy that lived opposite me called Tony and his family came out, removed all his stuff, they all got thrown, they threw it down the stairs and they chucked it in the bin. The old man that lived next, uh, opposite me at Lansdowne Court years ago, before Gail moved in there. I've seen it. He was an 81 year old man living on the top floor and his family, when he was moved out to a hospital because he had a stroke, threw his furniture down the stairs and shoved it into the bin. That's how people are respected, isn't it? Right? People want you when, want you when you've got money or when they when you're of use to them, but when you get old or or you know you're not so mobile, you just get abandoned and left sometimes if you aren't of, of use to anything for somebody a lot of old people die alone with nothing they get abandoned by their families right sad but it's true i saw it myself it very often used to collapse on the stairs collapse on the landing and he died of a stroke. So seeing what I used to have in charity shops, you know, 
as you get older, you prepare yourself for shit like that. But it didn't take me until I lost my dad to realise how nasty and evil people were. When I lost my dad, I then realised how they put my dad's body in that coffin and, and almost broke his legs to fit it and treated him like a pile of trash. Then I, then I knew that I ain't going to get fucking angry with people anymore. I'm going to show the world what the world is really like. I'm going to tape it and show everybody how evil some people are. That's enough of that because I, I, you know, I, I want to enjoy the rest of my life. I don't want to be a miserable old sod wandering around and, and being moaning. So I'm going to show you what I got from Primark. Right, I'm going to try and be as active and as mobile as I can till I hopefully reach old age. And I am not going to take drugs or drink or, or, you know, and if I've got to be on my own, I'll be on my own and I'll be grateful for it. I'm grateful for the air I breathe, for every day I get up and I can walk and smell the roses. Right, if people want to get up from benches and stick their nose up at me, go ahead. I don't know who you are anyway. If you want to be rude and horrible, you know, it, what, ten, what happens is when people treat you like that, it'll tend to come back to them. So if you're trying to make me cross, it's not going to work. I'm happy by myself. I've deleted all my dating sites. They've all gone. I'm not actively searching for anyone anymore. So all this crap where... You know, I've got these young women in my face, men going up to them and then, like, sniffing me like I'm shit. Go ahead. That's fine by me. When women get older, we do tend to get thrown out like garbage, right? And I'm one of many older women that feel shit by the way they're being treated. Now I'm going to show you my stuff from Primark. This t-shirt, guys, says weekend. Weekend. It's a white t-shirt with blue writing. It's seven pounds. And this is large for obvious reasons. Because I have a large chest. Can never find a bra to fit myself. So we've also got a t-shirt that was reduced from seven pounds to four. You see, Primark is sometimes cheaper than charity shops. It really is. So I went into Primark because I know that if I've got 20 quid, I can walk out with some bargains. If I go into a charity shop, especially the, um, the Meltzer charity shop in Rochester High Street, you're lucky to get two items for 20 quid, aren't you? So we've got this t-shirt that was seven reduced to four and it says 1985 concept studio nice red and white color that will go with a nice pair of black leggings now i haven't got any trousers and i don't mean that in a funny way i've got plenty of trousers indoors but i didn't buy any trousers i actually did go looking for trousers for leggings but i couldn't find any and I went into the Demelza charity shop in Chatham High Street. And, you know, I wouldn't sell some of the things they're selling. It looks dirty uh, and ragged. Um, so I didn't get any trousers. And my legs started to get sore. So I didn't walk all down. The, the, I could have gone into the Sue Ryder charity shop. I could have gone into the PDSA if it's still there. I don't know. I haven't been down there for a while, but I just wanted to go home. I wanted to go home, make myself a nice cup of coffee, and I miss my pets. And my, I'm sure my dog or my cat would have put the kettle on for a cuppa if they were human, because they love me. So, we've got a, a woman's large little vest because that's what I go to bed in these vests 
and a pair of bed shorts especially when the central heating has been on and it gets hot in the flat so all this for 25 quid two three two t-shirts a vest we've got some white and navy blue striped socks there and we've got some navy blue socks with white stripes so three pounds for some socks ladies socks four to eight because my foot is a size seven um very nice stuff very nice stuff in primark in primark thank you very much to the lady that served me today she was very polite and she wrapped my ornaments up some of them sit there chew gum and don't even talk but that woman was very nice today so we have a like a little vase you could put a rose in there it's a black torso of a woman so you've got a woman's breasts a belly and her legs reduced to a pound i think yeah a pound two pound fifty to a pound so i got two they what are they doesn't say they were two pound fifty they look like little rose vases a nice little backside view there is it primark today so i got two of those probably the lady wrapped them up for me in primark little bags I've got two of them i should be doing a, a tiktok with those on we've got some two packs of dinner candles reduced uh, one pound fifty to fifty p they're black the thing is guys as well while you're all taking the piss out of me while you're all being cruel and nasty to me and taking the piss out of me at least it, i'm stopping someone else get it aren't i at least it's not happening to someone else whilst everybody's bullying and picking on me so i look at it in a positive light positive light this cost me four pounds fifty it is a chain a paula echeveria uh, chain it's a product made using a minimum of 50% recycled metal. Cost me £4.50. But I wanted to get something together, like if I wore a dress, I might go out by myself Mother's Day. I don't, I might well do go out myself Mother's Day. So I've got a nice chain there. And then we've got a pair of earrings to match, which were £2.50. So that's a little set that goes together. Earrings and a chain. And now I haven't forgot my mum. I should be sending my mum. My mum loves perfume. I can't stand it. So I'm going to send my mum a bottle of perfume and a card. My, my, I cannot stand perfume. It makes me choke. It makes me gag. And some of the perfume is so strong, it actually makes you feel faint and giddy. So that is my bits from Primark Gap, guys. We've got two t-shirts, a vest, some socks and jewellery for a great value of £25. And if my cat lets me show you, I went to Sainsbury's. And I went to the co-op this morning. So all in all, I haven't done too badly. So in Sainsbury's, we got some Walker's Salt and Shake Crisps. I'm a coffee drinker, I can't help it. So we've got two Nescafe Irish Lattes. I've had the sandwich. I told you I got a meal deal. I got the steak sandwich. I got the 
free range egg protein pot and a fridge fudge brownie flavour milkshake. I had a five pound meal deal because it was a luxury sandwich. And I'm telling you now, I couldn't wait to get home and eat it. I was starving. So we've got some Cadbury mini eggs, little Easter egg as well as a treat. So I haven't been overspending. I've just got a few bits. I did look in the charity shops and I thought, you know, I don't want to buy any junk. It's going to come into my flat and just get broken and trodden on. So I got these lovely two little vases instead. So I would have got something like that in a charity shop. I haven't got a load of rubbish. Um, the post has not come yet, or if it's come, there wasn't anything in my post box. I still haven't put that £28 check into my bank, so I'm okay. That's covered the shopping. Oh, my leg. <laughs> and um, I think that's about it, guys. And I, I, I did treat myself to a takeaway muffin from the cafe shop on the Chatham Railway Station. And a cup of Earl Grey tea, which I've drunk, and it was delicious. <laughs> and we'll go through what happened from start to finish in another video. See you later.